Twitch Dying was the center space held last night on September 21st by ex-Twitch staff and industry leader to talk about the state of Twitch and their experience. And it happened on Twitter Spaces and there's no recording, nothing. So here's what I got from it. I'm a working girl, so I'm making breakfast and telling you this. It was five hours long. I got, I think, two hours and a half of it. But it was a lot of stuff. Too much. They talked about how Twitch going to Amazon made it less and less creator focused. So it wasn't that attention. And talked about what would have happened if it went with Google, seeing that powerhouse with YouTube, etc. They also talked about um, how they had like plans with Twitch things and also plans with community manager of education. There was so much. There was so much I couldn't remember everything. But I took notes. They also talk about the usual, don't put all your eggs in one basket and put everything on Twitch. You need to diversify your content. And Teal also, who's the host of the space, showed like a diagram of discoverability, not that he made, but showing how you can get discovered from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, etc. and lead people to Twitch. Twitch is not discoverability and we need to stop depending on that because it's never gonna happen. Twitch is dying, so that last night. Then there was a debate about multi-streaming between Devin Nash and DJ Week, saying how it's a list for a streamer who already has an income fully funded by Twitch and dependent on that to just go and multi-stream into the void, not knowing if they know the software, if they know how to do it, all that, etc., etc. And those back and forth, you had to mute them. And the tweets in between, I do agree um, with DJ Week, because don't forget, creators have been suffering burnout, and I feel like that wasn't talked about enough saying, yeah, it's a lot of work to be on different platforms, but it's also, burnout is a big risk among the streamer community and content creating in general. And I feel like they didn't talk about that a lot, knowing multi-streaming would be more work since you're on different platforms, especially if you're only depending on those content creation revenue to give you money and you wouldn't have Twitch. Devin Nash and Teal was more like, you can do it. It's a business. You need to risk it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. At the end of the Twitter space, what I got from it is you have to build your own platform, whether that be a newsletter, Discord, etc. website, build that, have that content creation space, and then go and diversify as much as you can handle, at least for me. There was like everywhere. I'm saying as much as you can handle. And go and not only depend on Twitch. Like, go do YouTube content. Even if it's only YouTube short, 